Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to implement Shima, the Shima effect straight from Facebook and this one is the official version. The first thing we want to do is import the library. We need to use Java 8 uh, and D8 as our Dexa. So this is the repository on Git, so I'll leave the link in the description. You can also find the library in local library app. You can find the local library app as well in the description or on Play Store. The goodness with the local library app is that it actually does download and import for you the library ready for use. Okay, so let's get down to business. To import this, let's go to this link. So down here, you see the dependency there. Then you can read uh, if you want, just to get to know more about Shima. And this is the effect that we are going to replicate. So to import the library, if you're not going to download from local library app, just copy this. Then go to your project in which you want to implement Shima. Go to local library. Here, use DH. Paste the dependency there. Start and it will import your library. Then you all you have to do is activate it. By ticking on it. Once you're done activating the library, just go back and come up with a layout. So in this layout, I've got a linear one right behind and I've converted it. To Facebook Shima frame layout. So just copy this. Let me just delete these views so that you don't get lost. I start from square one. Okay, so I only have one linear. So in simply drag a linear there. I've got linear one, then convert it from linear layout to Facebook. Shima layout, like that. Save. Then here we need to add a layout inside our Shima layout. Let that few parent or much parent. Then in this layout, which we have put inside our Shima layout, this is where the fun happens. And here you can configure the view, the Shima view, the way you want it to look. So let's quickly come up with something and see what I'm talking about. So you can design the view in any way you feel like. But it's usually cool to design it in a way that your final content that will be coming after loading will be. Okay, so I think this is enough for the demonstration. So I've created a quick layout. Enable the library. And uh, let's run this. 
install we open it and there our shimmer view is working and this is the official library so you've seen what happens it, it shimmers according to your design and approximately to the background color you set to your views so this is cool you can use this on recyclers text view image views linears wherever you feel like so you can get this library like i said from my local library app or from the official repository so i'll leave both links in the description and i also leave a sample link to the project in case you want this project just don't forget to add the library after you download the project